Hey, my friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and it's Thursday night, so this is where we are. We're gonna craft. So, y'all come on in and have a seat, and let's make something. So, we'll let some people get on. As promised, we're gonna do some clay. There's some people hunting on, yay! Get this clay out of here. Start working with it. Hello. Hey, Tina. Hello, hello. How are you? Just getting my clay out. Hey, Sherry. Uh -huh. Oh, Siri on my iPad's over here talking to me. Hello? I don't need you, Siri. Hello. <laughs> my iPad, Siri started talking to me. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Misty. Hey, Susan. Hey, Carol. Gary, hello, hello, my friends. Just getting this clay right here and some of it's gonna have to be wet. Hey Peggy and Jean, hello. We're gonna be working with our little clay like I told y'all we were. Hey Diana, I think I just need to take this piece off. It's like kind of hard. If it gets the air to it, it'll it gets it dry, so hey Elaine, hey Lenora. I just don't like the way that's feels crumbly or something. Hello, Susan. Good evening. Rainy. Oh, we need some rain here. Send it this way. <laughs> hey, Tracy. That piece feels hard, too. I don't know what the deal is. Hello, Ira. Hello, Heather. Y'all come on in. We're going to get crafty with this air dry clay um, that we've used before many, many times. So, I promise y'all we were going to cover this jar. Hey, Linda. Hey, Judy. Yes, you see clay. I told y'all we were going to do this jar. Pieces of this don't feel right, so I'm taking it off. I don't know what the deal is. Happy Friday Eve. Yes, thank you, Linda. Thank you, Jerry. Hello, Tammy and Hazel and all my friends. Just putting a little water on my clay because you know it dries out. Hey, Marla. And Brenda, now I gotta incorporate this into this somehow. <laughs> Raining in South Carolina. Y'all, we need some rain so bad. Today we had, uh, it was like record highs today. So it was just really, um, really, really hot. We had heat warnings and that piece just don't feel right. Um, clay, yes, air dry clay. Um, what did I? What did we do not too long ago? Oh, I can't remember. My brain is crazy. Hey, Tammy and Janet. Hey, Sandy. I'm not skinny mini yet, but I'm trying. Hey, Frida. Um, what was I about to say? Um, about the clay. I don't remember. What we do the clay? What we do with the clay? Uh, what did we do with the clay? <laughs> I'm telling you. Somebody remind me. Hey, Sue and Wendy. And Teresa, good to see you. Angie, we are gonna make a, I have a jar um, that we're gonna make. We're gonna cover it with clay and do something real cool with it. Raining in Kentucky. I wish it was raining here. We need some so bad. What did I make with the clay? I don't remember. Last week, raining. Yeah, we need some so bad, some rain. Snowman, that's what it was. It was the salt and pepper shaker snowman. And they got boxed up and put, they got boxed up and put in there with my other collection. That's what it was. Thank y'all so much. Oh, I can't remember. This week has been a whirlwind. Um, thank you, Libby. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I shared those pictures with y'all because you know it's part of my life. Um, it's been crazy. Yes, yeah, salt, salt and pepper shaker, Charlie. Yes, thank y'all for reminding me because I'm telling you. Um, Thank you, Lori. Uh, yes, the salt and pepper shakers with the little heads. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. My allergies are crazy. Um, for the last two days, my allergies are just at my wit's end. And I take two different kinds of medication every day. And it is just, <laughs> they're just relentless. And I'm feeling like I'm going to have to. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Deborah. Hey, Connie. Um, feeling like I'm going to have to take some Benadryl tonight when I go to bed because they are so bad. Uh, it needs to rain really bad. Hey, Jane. Hey, Linda from Ohio. 
Um, but anyway, so my son's a senior this year at high, in high school, and it's, uh, hey, Dana, and all the things that go with it. So, like, Sunday, they had a pool party, back-to-school pool party, um, and then it's, he's trying to get his parking space at the school painted and all that stuff, which he did not ask for my help. I just had to go get the paint and stuff with him, but I didn't, uh... The pumpkins behind me, these are these little ones. These little ones are just little salt and pepper shakers from Dollar Tree. Hey, Colin, there's my other son. Um, he's married and has a baby on the way. Oh, a shim pumpkin, how cool is that? Oh, goodness, Angela, mine has just been terrible. Last few days has just been relentless. Um, anyway, so the... Um, so we had like a back school pool party. He's been trying to get his parking space all painted and um, two inches of rain and you need it. We need it really bad too. Um, his parking space is trying to get painted. Yesterday, he had to go pick up his jersey, the class jersey for everybody. Everybody gets one, has 24 on it and all that. So I uh, had to go do that, had to take pictures of that yesterday and they had a class picture. And then uh, today was the first day of school. I had to help with the senior breakfast. I was up at 4.30 this morning. So this is why we're having hat day today uh, because this week has been crazy. So hopefully uh, we had to take pictures and do all the fun things this morning that I showed y'all. And um, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to rest the rest of the weekend after all this. What do they do with the parking spaces? So, Barbara, they, they can pay, like, money, and they, it was, like, $30, I think. And they can paint on their parking space, and nobody else can park in it but them in the parking lot. And only seniors get to do this. So, you have your designated parking space, and you can paint whatever on it. Of course, it has to be approved. But um, on your space, you can paint whatever you want on it. Hey, Vicki. And so... Um, so that's, um, that's what that's about. Did I move my chair over? No, I don't think I did. Does it look funny? Oh, that's where that clay went. Hello. Little clumps came out of my thing. Uh, I know, Bellevue, I have. I've been a, a crazy person for the last couple of days, I feel like, and it's like it's just trying to, just trying to keep floating. <laughs> So I haven't really uh, cut a lot this week because I had to get this space in order and I had to get subscription boxes out on top of everything else that's going um, and get them all packed and get them done and, and they're going out the door tomorrow. So it has been a crazy week. Hey, Karina. Hey, Angela. Okay. So the other day when we did the clay, this is the clay that I'm using. Um, I get mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get on Amazon, but it's DOS and it's white. It's really not white, but it's this color. Um, and it's uh, air dry and uh, it's air dry clay. And I love to work with it. I've done, do lots of things. Um, yes, it is cool that they let them do their parking spot. So what I need to do is I need to go through the parking lot when nobody's there at, in the evening and just film and show y'all all the parking spaces because um, it is really cool because lots of people get into it and they do all kinds of designs and fancy things and it's, um, hey Mandy with Western Grace, there's my friend. Um, so they get to, they get into it and it's really artistic and the parking lot looks cool because every space, you know, that is some, a lot of them are painted and they, they some of those kids go all out. Like there was kids there last night, included mine who was working on theirs, <laughs> trying to get it finished. Cause you have to do a coat and then you have to let it dry and then you do another coat and anyway. So it's really cool that they do that. Uh, these pumpkins right here, those are, they're they're just, I did these year before last, I think they're just, they're stuffed and then they're stacked like this. But uh, yeah, that's what those are. And then these are just, Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. I don't know which ones y'all are talking about, so I'll show them both to y'all. And my little my little doll over there, I changed her little bonnet, and I changed, kind of moved some stuff around back here. It was getting crowded. 
Um, yeah, I'll have to go in video and show y'all the space, just show y'all the spaces because it really is cool and they'll them be artistic like that and have their own space. It's really cool. Um, oh, Teresa, you need some clay? Okay, so this idea, I'm gonna have white stuff on my hat. <laughs> um, this idea, um, we did, um, we painted that jar right there the other night. And I told y'all I had an idea for this one. So this is the one we did the other night. This was a clear glass container. We painted it and did all the layers. It looks really, really pretty. I put some rub and buff on it, Mandy. <laughs> and <clears throat> and um, there she is. And I told y'all I had an idea for this one. Well, this one's kind of changed ideas over the last few days. And then I'm deciding, should I do it this to this one? Or should I do it to my pineapple jar? This is the... Um, this is a jar that those pineapples from Sam's, I don't know if y'all ever had them, but this is a glass jar and it's square, so it's really cool. But the spears come in and they're in like coconut water and they're really, uh, they're really good. So if you see them at Sam's, get them because they're really good. So I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do this tonight because my first idea was I was gonna do a house, okay? And make a little door and all this. and. Then I kind of changed it into making a pumpkin. Hey, Michelle, um, you get tr you have trouble getting them to stick together? Well, get you a little bit of water and you have to kind of get your fingers wet and you just have to work with it and smooth it and smooth it and smooth it. Um, Penny, I don't know exactly. I didn't even ask where that money goes for their own parking spot. I don't even really know. It may go into the senior fund. I don't even know. But so many of them do it. It's really cool, but they get into it. And the girls especially, they get really into it. But I, my son's doing his own and when his gets done, I'll show y'all his. Um, Cause he's not even, he has not asked me to come over there and help him. And I can't believe it. I figured he'd be like, mom, you're the one that's artistic. Can't you do it too? So anyway, so I was gonna do this jar, okay? And I'm gonna do a pumpkin. We've done these little bitty and little bitty size jars before. Um, don't forget to pour the Malibu rum in the in the pineapples. Yes. Anyway, um, but my thing was is if I do if I cover this and make this a pumpkin, what am I gonna do with this part? That was my other thing. So house for the first jar. So this jar, I think this needs to be a house, and I'm gonna have to kind of. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that a little bit. So I'm probably going to do this one and make this into a pumpkin. Um, if y'all have not seen me do this, I've done this before on little jars. I've never done it like on anything this big. So we're going to try it. And I'm just getting my Spider-Man. Yeah, he had a Spider-Man book bag. Y'all, that's a thing evidently is the schools, the, the seniors want the little kitty book bags. Who knew? Um, so anyway, so here is my clay and I'm trying to get it rolled out and y'all see my fancy rolling pin that I keep in my jar of clay. It's just a salsa jar. <laughs> so this is what I use to sit here and roll it out and get it. I don't want it too thin, but I don't want it so thin that it just going to tear. Yeah, Angela, he does have an artistic streak, but you know how boys are. I figured he'd be like, oh, mom, come over here and take the numbers and the letters off for me and all that kind of stuff, but he's not. Okay, I'm gonna use the pineapple one because y'all may have a jar like this, or you can use any jar for that matter. So I'm going to take my lid off first. And so what I'm gonna do, thank you, Connie, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover the jar and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna fix it all up and then I'm gonna have to let it dry. Uh, and we're gonna do the lid too. And let it dry tonight and over the weekend. And then Monday night, uh, we're gonna paint it and make it look cute. Uh-oh, Stafford, I'm not late, so I'm not running around the house three times. Is Stafford on here with Mandy? Oh my word. <laughs> He's so funny. Okay, so I'm not obviously gonna have enough to cover it in one Ha um, one thing, Santa house with a something for an opening. Yeah, see, I was thinking I could make a chimney out of that top part and make this into a house. I'm just gonna have to, um, um, 
I'm going to have to work on my, my cl clay skills, I think. Oh, you can't wait to see all the parking spots? This weekend, I'll go over there. Of course, my son's is not done, but I will get his. It's, his is going to take a little bit more of uh, work. But I can go over there and take and do a video so y'all can see. Because it's really cool to see. Um, I'm just proud of all these kids getting to be artistic and getting to do all the things. And that's so much fun. <laughs> he said, hey, Grandma Lee. So Stafford, Mandy's husband, is calling me Grandma Lee because, I, you know, I'm going to be a grandma. And so he, he's tickling me with, <laughs> he tickles me with all the, he's calling me Grandma Lee now. <laughs> he just wait, I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get him back. Oh, they do it in your little town, too? Yes, a brick house. Exactly. I'm going to do like a little fairy house. Um, so, I'm just... I smooth my clay out. And I'm just... I'm just putting it on my jar. And yes, it will stay. It will stick. Because it's just going to be part of this once it... A gnome house. Yes. Ah, gingerbread house, Judy. That would be cute. Happy Thursday, Tina. So, I'm just kind of... Smoothing it out. And the trick to this clay is um, you just got to get your fingers wet and just keep, you know, smoothing it and rubbing it and getting all the little bumps and stuff out. There's like a big bump right here, and I'm trying to smooth it out. But Keebler Elf House, yes. Hey, Dara. What kind of clay is it? It is called Doss Clay, and I get mine at Hobby Lobby. It goes on sale every once in a moon, but um, you can get on Amazon. Michaels has it. I want to. I'm not sure about Joann's, but they probably do. But this is what it is. It's just air dry clay. I love this brand because I don't. I know that it's not going to crack. I have used other clays in the past, and it they crack when they dry. So I don't trust because I I was doing work for somebody that had already paid for the gnomes and I made them gnomes and they all cracked and I had to redo them. And I was so, I was so, uh, devastated when I came in the next day and they were cracked. Um, Barb, all they do is like the seniors at the school where my son goes to, they let the seniors purchase a spot. You, you pick a spot, your number, whatever you want. Hey, Carol with Be Inspired. There's my friend, Carol. Be inspired if she's a cricket lady. Um, model, model magic. I have not tried that. But um, anyway, they uh, they let them buy a parking spot. It's like $30. And they can paint, you know, and personalize their, paint the concrete or the asphalt, whatever it is. Um, and they can paint it how they want to. But they have to have the artwork approved, of course, because it can't be anything offensive and all that kind of good stuff. But it's... Um, and it's super cool just to ride through the parking lot when there's no one there to see all the spots. And I'll have to take a video and show y'all how amazing it is. And those kids get really into it. They are, some of them are really detailed and how much work that they get over there and put into it. And my son was over there late last night <clears throat> working on his with a few of his friends. They were working on theirs too. And um, uh, there was... There was people in the parking lot everywhere, and this was late. This was at like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, they were working on their parking spots, bless them. <laughs> so, it's really fun. Yeah, it's a big deal for seniors. They get to kind of express their self, and they have their designated parking spot in the parking lot, and they don't... Um, nobody can park in their spot but them, so it's kind of cool. Uh-oh, model magic cracks bad when it dries. Okay, good to know that. So now I'm just laying this other piece down and I'm just, I'm just getting my fingers in my little water bowl right here and I just keep getting it wet. And if you keep on rubbing that enough, it will become one piece. Tacky Mod Podge, it helps the cracking some. Huh, never heard that, but I can definitely try that. But I know this will not crack. Now I'll say that and it'll crack tonight, but maybe not. Um, but this dries in the air on its own. So I'm just trying to get my jar covered for the moment so we can turn it into a pumpkin. Dollar pack. I missed that. 
So like I'm just patching it up here. I don't have it enough up enough. But you also have to be in mind that we're gonna put the lid back on it. So you don't need to bring your clay up too, too high because your lid won't go on. So I gotta get that out of the way. Yeah, they get it for the whole year. They get the parking lot space for the whole year. And then if you buy one, the people that buy one next year just paint over it or I don't know what they come along and sandblast it. I can't, I don't know really what they do. But, um, but it's really cool that they do that for them. They do all kinds of stuff and that we didn't do back when I was in high school many moons ago. Clay has always cracked on you. Hey, Karen. Good, you got me to stay on. All right, so I'm just sort of smoothing out what I got and trying to get these pieces that I've patched up here at the top to be one piece. Hey, Myrtle. You use a wine bottle for rolling your clay. This one's just easy. It's like a little salsa jar, and that's my little rolling pin. Don't have to have anything fancy. Okay, so now I still got another piece to go. 300 Tammy they have they had two they had 324 and then we've had new people over the summer so I would be dare to say maybe 330 340 uh, seniors so um that's a lot of kids but not everybody does it you know not everybody chooses to make a um hey Melbs make a parking spot not everybody wants to do it but they did all get jerseys with the year 24 on it has seniors and then they get their nickname on the back and they took a big group photo i posted that um so it's really cool the stuff they do but my mind is uh gone crazy this week trying to keep up with what all's happening and going on and then he decides to he decides late that he wants a parking spot because this was the parking spots were sold like months ago like the end of school and then he decides, hey, I want a parking spot. But the painting just started, so like a couple weeks ago, and people are still doing it. Okay, all right, so I've got this much so far. And yes, it is square, but I don't care if I have a square jack-o'-lantern or what, I don't, I, it doesn't matter to me. It's gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna even this off right here. So I can have so, a sort of a straight line and then even this off maybe. So yeah, it's really fun. And I want y'all to see all the, I had that idea when I rode through last night. I said, oh, I need to video this so my people can see all of the cool, um, the cool parking spots and the art that they put on them. How big is the school? Um, his class. Like I said, has like has about three thirty, three forty seniors just in his class. So they're actually building a new high school that will be open in like two years for our town. We have a very small town, but we have a huge school. It's a six A. They're they're saying they're gonna bump it to seven A, which is based on how many kids there are. Um, and so yeah, it's it's pretty large. A lot of kids in this town. So it's um. Lots of seniors, but they don't, like I said, they don't all do it just because some of them don't. Spooky the square pumpkin, right? He's just going to be square. He's going to be a, he's the odd, he's the oddball underdog square pumpkin. My stepson, um, I have a stepson that's a junior. And then Brayden is my oldest stepson. He just graduated this past year. So we have, we had a graduation in uh, 23, 24, and 25. We'll have one graduating. <laughs> so, yeah. And then Colin graduated in 15. So, he's been out for a while. And he's like, oh my gosh, how am I? How, uh, I'm so old. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, goodness. It makes me feel old. All right. Hey, Nancy. Oh, is that, is that a book? Maybe that's where I, that sounded familiar to me. Maybe that's where I've heard it. Spooky, the square pumpkin. You have four high schools. Well, in our county, we have, I'm saying high schools. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's all one district, but we have six high schools of different areas in the county. And they're all as big as ours. They're huge. 
Um, so it's a lot of people that live in this county because we're right below Memphis. So some people come out of Memphis and come down to live here or in our county um, that don't want to be in Memphis. Yeah, I live in Hernando, Mississippi, right north, north Mississippi, west, the very tip right below Memphis. I, I can leave here and be in Memphis in just a matter of a few minutes. So, all right, I'm just kind of, so, see, so yeah, I've got it all pretty covered, okay? But now I'm just going to work on my bottom, and y'all can do this. You see how easy it is. Um, <laughs> Vicki, I bet this looks weird when you first get on and she's like got this big white blob of stuff and she's doing something with it. I don't know what. Um, the reels for, I missed that. The reels for the stuff, they, if, um, the tutorials for my other stuff is on my other page. Um, hey Delina, 770 Pam. Oh my goodness. So the other page is the turquoise valentines, wood blanks, tutorials, and more. That's the other page where I put the tutorials. Lately, I've done a few here. Um, spooky, the square pumpkin is a book and a movie. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure that out then. This is going to be spooky, I guess. I don't know. Last fall, you saw, see, okay, so I'm, I don't have little kids, so I'm not in the loop with all the little kids stuff, so I will be with a granddaughter coming, so I'm going to get right back into that. Spooky the Square Pumpkin it was a movie on one of the kid channels. Well, this pineapple jar is turned into, is turning into a pumpkin. I guess his name's going to be Spooky. One, two, and having a clue. Um... Well, gosh, I wish I knew what his face looked like because then I could make his face to look like Spooky the Pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't know I was making a, a actual character. I just decided to do this jar and we'll save that one and do a house. Yay, Donna. She's not old. <laughs> Turned 35, goodness. Have I been in the pool? Brenda, it's hot to get in the pool. I've been running around doing high school stuff with my senior, trying to get all of that stuff uh, done. Carrie, yes, I'm doing, I'm gonna make this into a pumpkin, which I was gonna do the other jar and do a little house. And then I thought, well, I kinda wanna do a pumpkin with this one. And, um, they have Spooky on next. Okay, I gotta watch Spooky then. I'm gonna have to watch Spooky the Square Pumpkin. Cause I, that's, this is the first time y'all are educating me about this. I've never heard of him. So I'm gonna have to find out about Spooky. So I'm glad he's square. 15 in your senior class year and oh my goodness. He could be SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, he could. Okay. I'm going to show y'all the inside. So you see it's all, see that clay all the way around. Um, but the reason this is a jar is the beauty of this is that we're going to make it light up from the inside out. So it'll be just like a pumpkin, but we actually made him with our hands. Um, 50 kids in each grade. See, we came from us, when we moved here to Hernando, um, we came from a school it's very small. You knew everybody. You knew where everybody sat at church. You knew where their grandma, what they cooked on Sunday. You knew where everybody went ate after church on Sunday. You knew everybody's relatives, everything. We came from a place like that and we moved here. And the school, <laughs> I mean, Chase probably had 60 in his grade when we were. And now we moved to like 340 or whatever. So yeah, it's a lot. Um, it, was, it was a big change. Hey, Wanda, hello. Thank you for hopping on. Thank y'all all for hopping on and being here. Um, and if I could ask you to make sure that you're following me, um, I go through and I, I send out little invites if you like stuff on my page. And um, I posted a picture on my Facebook page. Okay. Spooky is cute. Did you treat the glass? Debbie, I did not. I just started putting... putting um, see, I got a little thin spot right here, so I'm just going to add some clay. 
I did this last year and the club cracked a lot. Clay crack when it dried. Well, I've never had the DOS clay crack on me at all, ever. And I've used, okay, good. You said everybody's sending me pictures of Spooky. Um, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can pull it up on my iPad real quick and see if I can see what he looks like. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if I can pull it up so I can see him. No. I don't want that. I don't want this. It won't let me for whatever reason. I don't have the business app on here. I can look at it, but I can't look at my business inbox. It takes me to my personal inbox. So I'll... I could look, I could Google him, but y'all want to sit here and while I'm Googling stuff. Hey, Ann. Okay, so all I did was that little thin spot. I just kind of put some clay on it, get some water. And that's the key is getting it wet. And you just kind of sit here and just keep, just keep smoothing. Because see, I got like cracks and lines and bumps. and But that's what pumpkins look like, right? Oh, Nancy, you're so sweet. Um... Norma, are you using the, this clay right here? Because I've never had it crack. Ever, ever, ever. Google Spookly. Is he Spookly? Okay. All right, y'all going to make me Google him. Google, Google, Google. Here. Spookly. The square pumpkin. Look how cute he is. Okay, so if y'all want to know what he looks like, that's what he looks like. <laughs> Ain't he cute? I guess it's like an underdog story, maybe. Ain't he sweet? He's cute. So he's got like an animated face. Um, thank you, Lynn. Cute. Okay, listening while grandsons are at t-ball game. Okay, Vicky. Well, I hope they win. Hot for T-ball, goodness sakes. So I'm just getting all this smoothed out. And if you think you can't do this, I promise that you can. Um, I love doing this just because uh, you can make whatever you want to make out of this clay, okay? And when I finish him, I'm gonna show you something small that you can make that I really like. Um, oh, Debbie's talking to somebody. Okay, she's talking about getting it thin, but I've got mine. It's about this thick. So if you can kind of see on the bottom, I, it's not so, so thin, cause you're gonna see when I start carving out his face, 27. Um, but every time you touch it, you're gonna make a mark on it. You're gonna put your fingernail impressions in it because I'm constantly going over my fingernails or little marks that I make when I touch it. And I try not to use my fingernails, which I don't have much, but Somehow away, some way it still gets on there. So I'm just trying to smooth this out. But it is, it does make it heavy. Looks like a gigantic marshmallow. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Uh, Debbie, it's called the Turquoise Valentine's Wood Blanks Tutorials and More. Look at my hands though. This stuff will dry your hands out, so when you wash your hands, you're going to put lotion on because it makes it so dry. It soaks up all the uh, oil. Judith, it just air dries. So this will dry like in a day or so. I'll just let it sit here and let it just dry on its own. You don't have to bake it. It's not like polymer clay. Um, thank you, Stacy. You're so sweet. Okay. Yes, Marsha, I'm going to make ridges on the pumpkin, and that's what we're going to do with this little gem. Y'all love this thing from Dollar Tree. Look, this one's bent because <laughs> I've used it so much. Um, but it has this cool little end, and I've already, it's already got dried clay on it. But, so when you open your clay, if you've never used this, when you open it, just go ahead and get you a Ziploc bag. You see, this one has been very well loved. These pieces in here actually probably need to be chomped with these over here that are kind of crumbly. This over here is, I'll use it in a few minutes when we start making the top. 
Olivia, this is what it is. If y'all want to screenshot it, this is what it is. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can order it from Amazon. And I, want, I know Michaels has it too. Um, Hobby Lobby puts it on sale every once in a while. I used to use the coupon for it, but now we don't have coupons. But it's DAS and it's just, it's air dry clay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in here because yes, it does dry pretty fast. We gotta do the lid still, but I'm gonna just set it in my bag just so it doesn't get any more air than it has to. Yes, yeah, so I make gnomes out of this clay and I can show you one because the this one, I did not make this one. I'm gonna try to have a straight face. This is the only one I can reach because it's on her shelf. My best friend Deidre that passed away two years ago, this was her. She made this with her own hands. It has her fingerprints in it um, because I make these. And this is the one that she made because, you know, I, I taught y'all how to do it. So she made this one. So it sits on the shelf I have up here. That's her shelf. It's a picture of her. There's all kinds of stuff up there of uh, our stuff. And uh, this is the one that she made. And so, of course, I had to have it. So there he is. So um, I have a tutorial. I've done this several times on the page. Um, and they are fun to make. You make them in skinny, tall, fat, little, big, all the things. And they are a lot of fun to make. But uh, this is my favorite one, of course, because she made it. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put him back up, up here. Well, I'm going to set him, we'll just set him right here for right now. So he can sit right there. Um, Kitty cat clock, I moved it <laughs> because you couldn't see it. Like I, I kept lowering it down and my camera and yeah, she, she, she had a rare form of cancer and she died two years ago. We were best friends for over 30 years. Um, so yes, Judy, I can make another one. Um, uh, you know, another time I can't, but if you go through my videos, I know you can find it cause I've done it two, maybe three times. But I've used this clay for lots of things, and it's so much fun because you can make whatever you want. You don't have to, you know, like I didn't have any little robin eggs for a nest that I had back there in that thing. And I made robin eggs out of this clay because I didn't have any the size I needed. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what I've got so far. So it's rumply and bumply, and it's got... I didn't smooth this out very well over here, but y'all know how pumpkins are. If I wanted something perfect and smooth and looked like perfection, I'd go to Hobby Lobby and I'd buy something. But the whole point of this is that you can put your spin on it, put your personality into it. Um, they're good. His sons are good. Um, he's got two. She has two. One of them got married in February. And, you know, I dance with him at his wedding for her and in, in her place and that was that was tough y'all i'm not gonna even um i'm not gonna even uh talk about it because I, I can't talk about it <laughs> i just can't when i hear the song come on the radio or something i have to start it i just can't even do it um uh teresa i don't know about the dark gray but you can paint it like i'm gonna paint this whole entire thing but, um, so it, I don't know about the gray. I know it comes in the terracotta color as well. Y'all are all praying for somebody and I have no time, no idea who it is. And, um, oh no, I'm so sorry. Two months ago. Yeah, it's been two years. April was two years. Um, okay. So anyway, so I've got my clay and the bottom's not pretty y'all, but. I didn't cover the whole bottom because, you know, the jar's got to sit down like this, but you're not going to see all of this part. But, you know, if you want to be perfectionist, you go ahead. <laughs> and then you got to also remember, we're going to be putting this lid right back on top, okay? So you got to not go over the little lid lines or the little screw lines. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Yeah, he looks like me. Yeah, he... <laughs> He does. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this. 
Well, I'm going to figure out what side I want his face to be on. The, the best looking side, I guess. You know how when you get a pumpkin at the store and you kind of have to turn him around and around and there's always that bad spot? Same with a Christmas tree. you got to, you know, you got to turn the Christmas tree and the, the bare spot goes in the back. <laughs> same thing with pumpkins. You have to carve the pretty side. So, same with this. I'm just trying to make this side look. That seam, I did not do a great job. So, you just keep wetting your fingers with water and just keep, and it'll smooth out the way you want it to. Just keep on trying. You're going to get fingernail marks in it. And just keep going over it. Okay. Because you got a long time. Hey, Judy. Okay. So here's my pumpkin. So I think I made fingernail marks in it somehow. Okay, so there's the side I'm gonna use. So I think I'm just, I'm just gonna start with this little, I mean, you can use a, a, a regular butter knife or a plastic knife or, I mean, anything really. A, you could use the handle of a spoon, you know, whatever. Just, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm just using this just because it's right here. And so I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna make my little, my little, I think you call them ribs. I, I may be wrong. So I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out. Mini cookie cutters. See, I don't know what happened to somebody. Somebody, something happened and I don't, I missed it. But I'll be praying for whatever it is. God knows what it is. So I'm not I'm not worried about getting my little line straight because y'all know how pumpkins look, right? So something must have happened. Praying for Gay Bennett. Okay. Well, we'll be praying, Gay. Whatever's happening, I know God's in control. And we'll definitely be praying for you. All right. So see, I'm just going around. And this doesn't look like much right now, but once it dries and we add some paint to him, he's really going to look super cute. Once we add a face, y'all are going to be like, oh, yeah, I've got a thin spot right there. I think I've turned it on the table too many times. So said he told me he was diagnosed with a very rare precourse. Oh, no, Janet, I'm so sorry. I'll be praying for them. All right, so see, I've got that. And you can do them closer together or however you want to do it. It's your pumpkin. You do it just how you want to. This is your little masterpiece. So you do it how you want to do it, how you see fit. Okay, Dana, put it down. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, and you could probably find it quicker there. Is what Dana pinned at the bottom. Um, they're a lot easier to find on YouTube, although I don't have the most recent ones on YouTube. I've kind of, it's, you know, there's just not enough time in the day, y'all, to do all the things that needs to be done, believe it or not. Okay, so there's my, so see, I'm just kind of doing my little thing. But once we put um, paint on this guy, y'all, I'm telling you, it's going to make so much of a difference. If y'all saw my videos before when we did the little jar pumpkins, then y'all know they are adorable. And I wish I knew where they were. They're probably, they may be in the house, in my decorations in the house. Um, Jessica, it is clay. It is just air dry clay that I love, love, love to use. Um, and I covered a, this is a pineapple spears jar from Sam's that I've, it's been sitting in here for me to do something with. And here's today's the day. Um, so I'm just continuing to take this little tool, but it's perfect for just making these little ridges. They don't have to be perfect. Debbie, it's, it was a jar from Sam's. It had pineapple spears in it. They're pineapple spears in coconut water. And they are super, super good. 
Um, they like were all over TikTok at one point. People were just talking about them everywhere and I had to try them and they are very good. Um, so I kept the jar because, uh, so I kept the jar because I liked the jar because it was square. And I had a whole nother intention for it, but then that changed too. Sometimes things sit in here long enough to where it changes. <laughs> it changes form. Okay, so this is where my face is gonna be and I will put the ridges. I guess I can put the ridges first and then cut my face out. Um, okay, just make sure I'm not missing anything. So I'm just gonna put some more on the front. Since I'm getting close to the end, I'm trying not to put them. And then I'm just running my finger because it kind of pulls that clay. I'm just running my finger down it. Okay, so there's my front. Not straight at all, but I didn't want them to be straight. Y'all know how pumpkins look. They don't look perfect at all. So now I'm going to have to map out where my, um, my face is going to be. And we're going to carve out his little face. And this is all going to dry on the glass. So, to make it easy, I would do triangles or, you know, some kind of shapes that has triangles or corners. Let's see. Let's do his nose first. So, I'm trying to get it centered. And this is going to show you how deep the clay is. It's not real deep at all but it's deep enough. So you're gonna just make you some little cuts. Um, like that. And then you're gonna pop out that piece. And of course my clay is thicker in other spots than it is in, uh, you know, some spots than it is in others is thicker. Just the way it got rolled out and laid on my pumpkin or laid on my jar. So then I just take this little, my little exacto thing and I'm basically just kind of cleaning up like those lines and smoothing it, smoothing the walls out, I guess, of his nose and making it look a little better where it's not jagged and rough and I'll show you and especially getting it off the glass because we want the light to come through there so see there's this little nose and so just kind of you can get your finger with some water and kind of go in there and make the little sides kind of smooth back out after you've cut away the clay so there's that hole there's his nose. So now I'm gonna try to figure out how to do his eyes. And you can do circles too. It's just not as, um, trying to figure out what kind of eyes he needs. I guess I'm gonna do the, I'll just do triangles. We're gonna do triangles. Just make it easy. So do y'all carve pumpkins? Do you carve pumpkins with your grandkids? All right, so there's my other eye, my other triangle. Oh, you did, Karen? You made the small ones? And I just had the hankering to make another one. I just, I, some crafts are just worthy of doing them more than once, and this is one of them because I love it. And it's getting that time, and I love this jar, and I had no idea that he was a character on a show. <laughs> Spookly. All right, so there's his eye. So cute. You carve pumpkins? Okay. Some people don't. Hairy eyebrows. <laughs> that wouldn't be funny. Um, so, one of my favorite smells in the whole world. You know, we all have those things that remind you of kid, being a kid and childhood. I like the smell of crayons. Okay. I've told y'all that before. Um, but 
the other is the smell of a real candle in a pumpkin. And when the top, you know how sometimes if, you're, if your pumpkin's small, the top of the, where you cut out to put your candle in it, it'll get kind of charred or kind of burned a little bit. And it's something about the smell of the wax and that smell of the pumpkin burning or whatever. I just like that smell. It just, um, oh, she cars, oh, she never missed a year. Oh, wow. Oh, you bought the pineapple spears? Um, so yeah, save your jar. It's a really cool jar. All right, so there's my other one. Um, and Play-Doh. Yes, Britt, I like the smell of Play-Doh. But it's something about that flame and the wax of the real candle and the burning of the, uh, the top of the pumpkin. It's, it's I, I don't know. It just reminds me of childhood, reminds me of Halloween. Uh, if they had a candle that smelled like that, I'd buy it up in a minute. Yes, Barb. This I don't know what it is. It's the waxy, burnt pumpkin smell. Um, you know, it just can take you back to a time where we had vinyl, little cheap, little Halloween costumes that we bought in a box at the store. And times were so much just simple then. And it's just, it's a child, it's just a childhood memory it brings back so many memories of halloween and just you know getting candy and having fun and being a kid and i don't know i just like the smell it's weird how things do that to you uh it is a jar a pump pineapple spear jar from sam's i got mine from sam's and then i covered it with clay you know that smell do you yes so that clay and i covered my whole jar and we are carving out a um yes donna it does me too now you want to make some pumpkins donna yes see that's why i'm on here i want to inspire y'all to like just get you some clay and take a jar and give it a whole life it's got a whole life y'all could create a whole story about this pumpkin like spookly i could create a whole pumpkin this hard, thin plastic mask, Andy, that we couldn't even see out of, and we were wandering down the street in the dark, not even where we were going because we couldn't see out the eye holes. Y'all know. Oh, your mom made them? Gas was 48 cents a gallon. Okay, now this is the tricky part. <laughs> Y'all know we couldn't see out those holes? Um. Okay. I don't know what brand the pineapples are. And the lid, of course, does not help me because it's just solid black. But we gotta do the lid in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna like sketch out his face with the tip of my little blade because this is the tricky part. He's got to have some toofies. And now they have all these really cool kits that you can carve pumpkins with and these templates and all that. We just, my daddy just, he just did his best carved them pumpkins. Yes, Vicki. Favorite smell is the lumber section of Lowe's or Home Depot. Frida, mine, that's one of mine too. See, y'all, we all have the fav this those smells that bring back that memory. And funny thing about smells, is the sense of smell is something that you have to be in the present moment. You can't recreate a smell like instantly. You can think of the memory attached to the smell, but when you smell something, it's, you're in the moment instantly. You know, it's not something you can uh, recreate on your own. Does that make sense? So that's why a lot of things are tied to smell because you're in the moment when you smell it and you smell it over and over and over again and you tie a certain thing to that memory. But you have to be in the moment to have a memory to smell, which is really cool because we all need to live in the moment. I'm, I'm guilty of, you know, hurrying life and not being in the moment enough. And I try, I catch myself trying hard. Okay. So I've kind of carved out my mouth 
and the masks were hot and hard to reach and they had that little poppy string on the back that your brother would come along and pull the string in and hit you in the back of the head. Yeah. That kind of thing. Always rain and cold. Here, you never know if it's going to be 85 degrees or it's going to be freezing on Halloween. All right. So, now I'm going to have to just take my little tool and I'm going to dig out the part I don't want. So, you, that's why you kind of need something not sharp, but so you can cut it good where it'll just come right out. This is just so much fun because this pumpkin is going to last me a long, long time. He is not going to rot. He is going to be so adorable. Once y'all see him painted, lightning bug smell. I don't know what lightning bugs smell like. Do they smell? I don't know that I've ever smelled that. Hey, Tracy. Okay. So, roughly, there is my mouth, all right? So, that's what it looks like when you first kind of cut it out. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> um, coffee cooking, but can't stand the taste. Vicky, a lot of people are that way. Coffee smells really good, and some people don't like It's really bitter. So, you have to have lots of uh, Kool-Aid and Bible school, yes. Um, you have to have lots of creamer in your coffee because it's, it's bitter. I, like, I don't know if I like the coffee or the creamer. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I've just got to kind of fix him, like fix his little teeth. I'm going to play dentist here for a minute. What was that? What was the little, uh, elf name on Rudolph that was wanted to be the dentist? Herbie. Was it Herbie? Herbie, Herbie, Herbie. That's his name. I think. Hermie or Herbie, something. I'm going to be him for just a minute and fix his teeth. So I'm just kind of going around. Um, <laughs> back in the, in the back of a truck. Yes, I've ridden in the back of the truck on Halloween. Um, now they don't let you ride in the back of the truck anymore, I don't think. We went lots of places in the back of the truck. Coffee aisle. Carolyn, you made them last year? I, Vicky, I'm sad because I don't get to buy the crayons anymore. Right? And I looked down the aisle. Now, I saw a bucket of crayons. And the, is it Herbie? Okay. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. He wants to be a dentist. <laughs> so, I am playing Herbie. And I am fixing his teeth. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. <laughs> Herbie. Yes, that's his name. I think it was Hermie or Herbie or something. Uh, yeah. That's it. Oh, Y'all know the little elf that went with Rudolph and whatever they did. I can't remember. The the Bumble. They fought the abominable snowman thing. All right. So, you kind of just have to get it off the glass, okay? Um, and just take your little... Um, blade or whatever you have and just so so you can see how thick my clay is it's thicker in some places than others um yep you can still sit down and color with crayons i got i have crayons you sure can that's why you get old because you quit playing like little kids that's when you get old or why you get old because you quit playing hermy hermy is from something else Oh, the salt takes the bitterness away? Okay. So, like, I'll take my finger and put it in my water, and then I'm just going to kind of smooth out his teeth, <laughs> make his teeth pretty. <laughs> Told y'all I was playing dentist. Yeah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and it was, Her it was Herbie who didn't like to make toys, and he wanted to be a dentist. So, I'm playing a dentist at the moment. I'm fixing his teeth. Fixing this doll's teeth. That's another memory, core memory. We had to wait for it to come all back then, though. See, look how cute he looks. Island of Misfit Toys. Y'all want me to sing that? We're on the island of misfit toys. 
That's right. They went to the island and they rescued, y'all look at my hands. They rescued the toys. They have glitter crayons. They had a tub and it was like 200 crayons in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, do they have that many actual colors? Or I wonder if it was like the glitter, the neon and all the things. You like to color in your coloring books? I have uh, real nice Prismacolor pencils, and I used to color a lot in my crayons. I mean, in my coloring books. All right, now I'm just going to kind of go in and smooth out some of the little bumps and little grooves and stuff that I made while I was fixing his teeth and all that. All right, so just make, you know, kind of smoothing it out where I may have put my finger or something like that. So there he is. Isn't he so pretty? Da, da, da. I mean, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could put another face on the other side or a face on all three sides, excuse me, all four sides, but he is so cute. Hey, Becky, <laughs> Christine, I just refuse to grow up. I'm sorry, Hermie. Hermie doesn't like to make toys. Okay. Oh, the milk, chocolate milk, Bonnie. Yes, it does. It definitely does. Okay, where is my lid? Here we go. So here's the lid. So we've got to make a top for him. Yeah, Frida, I've seen people that use those coloring apps on their phone and like the iPad and stuff. They have all kinds of stuff. All right, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, do my lid. It's, it is cute, isn't it? And you could paint it any color you wanted to. If you wanted to paint it polka dot, pink, I, paint it any color you want. Um, now y'all gonna have a whole army of jar pumpkins. Like I said, I, I did the little ones years ago. Um, like this would be a great one. This is from Target Dollar Spot. I've had it in my stash. Just any kind of little jars you have. Could you cover, Lori, it probably would but if the plastic was like where it would move, like you know, how, like a, a plastic water bottle does, it would probably not hold up. Um, Timmy, Timmy the Tooth. Now I haven't seen that. Hermie. Okay, it is Hermie. Okay, Hermie. Hermie doesn't like to make toys. Okay, so now I'm just kind of talking and molding my clay like a crazy person. This is gonna be so much fun, y'all. If you've never worked with this clay, you don't have to have an artist degree, nothing like that. Charlene is coloring comedy and tragedy. Oh yeah, that would be cute if you had a funny pumpkin and then a sad pumpkin or a scary pumpkin, whatever you wanna do. All right, so now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cover my lid, but we can't like cover it totally all the way because then we won't be able to put it back on. Hey, Lori from New York. Elmer's glue smell, yes. Elmer's glue and rubber cement. <laughs> that smells, it reminds me of school and stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna try to cover this lid. This is tricky because you can't go over the edge, but you've gotta make this stick. It's the fun part. Happy color on your iPad. I need to check that out because I don't have that. I have a uh, Procreate, which is, you know, you can draw and do all kinds of stuff, but you'd have to make your own, you know, you'd have to draw your own stuff. And I made the snowman with the salt and pepper shakers about a week ago, the little heads and put them on the, the vintage salt and pepper shakers. Um, and I do that with clay and, hey Paula, how are you my friend? Hello. Um, and I did that with clay, I make gnomes with clay. And it's just so fun. I mean, because you can make anything you want to with this stuff. Okay, I'm trying to pick it up off my table. All right, so I've got it. So see my, my lid and I'm gonna have to sit here and work with it because you don't want it to where it's going to interfere with us putting it back on the jar. Mud pies. <laughs> so I'm just, just trying to smooth it out because if you 
mush it too much, it'll come off the lid. And I want it to be on there enough to stay where it's gonna adhere to it kind of, I guess. Those mimeograph papers, any the purple ink stuff, I can still smell that. I, I, yes, I like that smell. They don't do that anymore. But I know exactly what you're talking about. It's that purple stuff. It's probably toxic or something. That's probably why they don't do it anymore. <laughs> Happy coloring right now. I'm going to have to check that out. That's That might be something that's relaxing to do is coloring on your iPad. 3D tumblers. I had to smell each. Yes, I like this. I, we used to all smell our papers when I was a kid. All right, so I'm just going to smooth out my little lid. I'm not going to smooth it out too much because I don't want it to look perfect. Y'all know that burnt pumpkin smell, right? I like the purple ink too. The locust singing. No? We have locusts here all the time. That sing all the, all the time. Uh-oh, Rhonda, you're falling asleep. We'll go get you some rest. Okay, so got my jar lid finished or top cover. So now we got to make him a stem. So it's going to be, that's how he's going to be. It's going to look super cool. And you're going to have that gap there. And there's not, I mean, you could bring your clay up a little higher if you wanted to. I mean, I could sit here and try to pull it up some. But you're just going to have that gap. If you know, just so you won't cover up any of the threads to try to do it. Um, whoop. See, I just hit my fingernail on it that time. All right. So now I'm going to make him a stem. The smell of books, yes. Probably cicadas. Yeah, we have, I don't know what they are. Cicadas. Um, so now i got to make the stem. I've never made one this big, and I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to have to mimeograph paper, yes. Y'all wouldn't have told me. I wouldn't have known what it was called, but I do know what you're talking about. Trying to find the salt and pepper shakers. Yes, you'll find them. Just keep keep on the lookout. And you got till Christmas. So, um, on the salt and pepper snowmen. And I do the pepper mills, too. Those, the, pepper, the wood pepper mills, they're fun to just paint and make like snowmen, too. Yeah, some of them were still, like, damp. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, you could tie a ribbon around it or some raffia or something like that. Good idea, Elaine. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to make a stem. Like I said, y'all, you can make anything you want to out of this stuff. That's the beauty of it. That's what's fun about it. Um, the smell of a new baby doll, Sandy said. That's cool of the little pumpkin. I'll have to find the one I did before of the pumpkin jars. It was last, it may have been last fall, I think. Okay, so I've got, so I'm just kind of judging on how big my stem needs to be. So I'm gonna like make the bottom of it. I'm just gonna put it on my glass table because it's wonderful. Um, so I'm gonna just make him some, y'all know how the Stem, I don't know why that light keeps changing colors. It's weird. Um, has a stem. They have those little roots almost that go into the actual, probably don't be able to get it off the glass, that go on top of the pumpkin. They kind of look like this. Y'all know where the stem comes up. Yes, I'm going to put jute. That's a good idea, y'all. Putting a ribbon or something around it where it'll hide that gap. That would be perfect. Trying to make this look like a stem without looking at like anything else. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just stuck my finger in his face again. So then, <laughs> y'all gonna laugh. I know. I'm trying really hard for it not to look like anything weird. Curve. Yes, it needs to curve. So it's gonna either look like that or look like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's just no way around it, right? Let me take off some of it because it looks, my stem, I gotta get it kind of proportional to my pumpkin. Yeah, it's 
going to look good. <laughs> Stop it, Karen. I'm trying not to do that. Karen went off. Karen did it. Karen said it. Thin out the top. Okay, Barbara, y'all stop. <laughs> Karen, you did it. Right, Beverly? Make it flat. Okay. <laughs> oh, Karen did it. Y'all blame Karen. <laughs> yeah, white pumpkins. I love white pumpkins. Um... And he would look cool, just white. Now, when he dries, he's going to get white like this on my hands. He's going to get really white. Make it thinner? Is that what y'all are saying? I keep taking away and taking away. Okay. Y'all just want to see me sit here and make the thing for 30 minutes. <laughs> A baby boy. <laughs> I'm going to paint it before I come live so y'all won't... <laughs> Robin, <laughs> he's a happy guy. <laughs> Y'all stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> oh, Lord, Susan. Y'all are, y'all are killing me. You understand? Y'all are at home in y'all's PJs and I'm in front of a whole bunch of people and I gotta be, <laughs> be right. <laughs> Vicky's like, I'm on the phone and then I saw the stem. Okay, there's my stem. And I still don't like it. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> CD, stop. <laughs> okay, some people wanted it thinner, so. All right, so you're just going to sit here and smooth out your clay until it kind of becomes one with the top. Trying to be careful with my words. Because y'all are going to make something of it, I know. Cody joined at the wrong time, right, Cody? I'm making a pumpkin and this is the stem. Y'all stop. <laughs> Frida's cracking up. See, y'all are at home in y'all's pajamas and cracking up. And I'm over here trying to uh, keep it PG. Alright, so I just smooth it all out to where those little roots or whatever that come out of the stem are, um, oh, twist it. Now, that's what I did last time. Thank you, Leslie. Because it's going to give it that little twisty look. Y'all make fun of my stem. I want to see y'all do it. I want to see y'all make the stem, okay? And the same thing is when I make gnomes. It's the same thing. And it, yeah, it gets to that point to where you're trying to make it look like it's supposed to. And then it, yeah, it can go off the rails really quickly. <laughs> Wanda's like, y'all are cracking me up. Carol? <laughs> oh, y'all are killing me. Okay. So, like I said, you got to be careful not to get it on your lid so it'll it'll go back on. You know, quit laughing at my thing. What's that little thing called, Lee? It's a stem. All right. Now I'm fixing it. Now I'm going to try to get it on here to where the stem is going the right way. It's gonna be on my pumpkin like that. I'll quit talking about uh, spookly like that. Bless him. You can't be right. <laughs> I know. No matter what I say, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> I am I'm gonna oh draw some lines in the stem. Yeah, I think we did that before, like that, to where it looks like y'all know how it's got those little lines in the stem. I'm just not even, y'all are laughing. Late night crafting. <laughs> after dark. Crafting after dark. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> y'all stop it. It's 
So I'm just taking the little tool and I am, okay, hold on, let me get him right. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, so here are my little lines on my pumpkin that I made. I'm going to carry those up onto the lid. Like putting them in the same so they'll match the actual ones on the pumpkin itself. So it kind of looks all like one piece. Is that making sense? <laughs> I'm trying to make, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to. Y'all are making it really hard. <laughs> So I'm just making my little lines that match my pumpkin. Cause you know, the lid is only going to sit on there a certain way. Y'all know the threads and the line and the, and the, and y'all have been touching it all the way around with my thumb and I've smoothed out all of my lines. So I'm going around it again. Good Lord, Jandis. All right. Can't believe I did that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna, I guess I need to carry them all up to the top. I guess I should have done that the first time. Cause however you leave it, that's how it's gonna dry. So if you don't get it smooth, <laughs> no fun being good. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. I'm gonna think about this about in the, sometime in the night and be like, oh my gosh, and just start laughing out loud all over again. Don't put a hole. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> Y'all, poor Spookly. He just don't, he, mm, he's just a baby. Okay. Now, so I, I'm going to try to pick it up and show y'all. So I carried it all the way onto the top, okay? Super cute. So, so you know, and if, if you wanted to do this and you do it for fall, we have this side. And then you can turn it around when it gets to be Halloween time. I can make some leaves. Leaves. Look at y'all. Y'all just continuing on and continuing on. My poor hands. Like, y'all see that dust coming off? Just because it's dry. Do y'all see it? <laughs> so I have a wet rag over here for this. Curve it a little. Y'all saying. <laughs> pink pumpkin and Hobby Lobby. No, I didn't, but that's like the big thing now is the pink pink pastels and stuff for Halloween. Tracy. <laughs> oh no, Becky. I didn't start it. It was all Karen. It's Karen's fault. Spookling gone wild. <laughs> God, he's just a baby. <laughs> you did leaves, leaves. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make a leaf. Okay, I'm all good. <laughs> okay, it's gonna look like a pumpkin stem when we paint it. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. They make meds for that. Y'all, y'all are bad. Y'all are bad. Yeah, see, Kathy, you can do, like, fall. And you could even, like, put you a saying on here if you wanted to, like, paint. It's fall, y'all. And then you could turn it, and then you have Halloween. Um, so, Spookly after dark. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> Poor Spookly. Bless his heart. I need to twist it more. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a leaf. But, you know, I don't know how good I am going to be. Because I'm sure y'all are going to make something out about my leaf. I'm trying to make like a, or like a, how a pumpkin leaf looks. They look, I don't know how this is going to work. Hey, Donna. <laughs> you help, you help tell everybody, tell your friends to come see this girl make this stem uh, for this pumpkin. <laughs> y'all 
talking about Spookly again. Talking about putting a smile on his face. <laughs> Jody, I'm trying not to. Yeah, tendrils. Okay, so this does not look like a leaf. It looks like a ghost with his arms out. Okay, that looks better. Chop some of it off. Maybe when it's green, it'll look better. It won't look like a ghost. Adam's leaf. Karen? There's another Karen. She's causing troubles. Stop it. Yeah, they're very large. I do know they're big, and they're like something like that. That looks like a, a ghost or a duck foot. One of the two. So, see, I can put it like that. So, he's going to have... He's going to have a little leaf up there. Maybe it's too thick. A duck foot. Thank you, Cindy. Okay. It'll look like a leaf when it's green. Take one of your stash leaves. Um, and press into the clay. Oh my gosh, y'all are just brilliant people. Y'all are brilliant people. Did y'all know that? Look at this. That didn't help. It doesn't have like the veins in it, like this, you know. That's what I know you mean. Okay, a fig leaf. <laughs> y'all stop. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put some lines in it. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna take this little blade right here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it alone so it'll dry like this. And then when we paint it, <laughs> Tammy, you're glad you're on here tonight, yes. Karen, stop it. <laughs> It's all Karen's fault. Them darn Karens. All right, look, see? He's gonna look super cute. And I'll make him some tendrils with my, when we paint him and all, he's gonna have the tendrils I taught y'all how to make the other night. So see, he'll have little tendrils. He's gonna look super cute. Um, Spooky the ducky pumpkin. Okay, Vicky, it'll take, I'm gonna lay my leaf just like that over here because it, it'll dry dry flat but i'm kind of thinking maybe i need to let it dry where i'm gonna put it and then it's gonna um then it'll kind of just conform there so when it dries um but i'm gonna take the lid off okay i don't know why but i am but it'll take a day or so and it just depends on how thick the clay is, okay? And you'll know when it's dry um, because it turns white and then you can look in here, you know, you can look in the jar and you can tell if it's dark, you know. It's gonna take a day or so. Somebody, everybody's saying two leaves. <laughs> Lynn, I'd love to meet you too. There's one, squirrels. Yes, see, we're gonna decorate it all up and make him look really cute. We're gonna put a little light in there. Speaking of a little light, let's do this. See, this is what it's gonna look like. I mean, he's gonna light up and he's going to look so stinking adorable. <laughs> You're not gonna say what you wanna say. <laughs> but look how cute this is gonna be. And if y'all see my video from where I did it, I don't know if I did it last year or two years ago. It may have been two years ago. I did little ones. And so I had like a whole bunch of them. And I painted them different colors. I painted them metallic. I painted them uh, orange, brown, metallic, black. I did all kinds of different colors. Yes, Karen's like, oh, yep. Yeah. Karen Ellis, she started it all. Yes, Laurie, life's too short to be good. Odd number of leaves. I agree, Jane. That's all I'm going to do one. Because once I get... Hey, Dot from Australia. 
um, once I'm going to get, uh, get the tendrils and we'll put a little moss and we're going to paint this really cute and pretty and make, and give Spookly, you know, some personality with some paint. He's going to look super cute and we'll clean the glass in his eyes and mouth and he's going to look adorable. But see, it's already starting to dry. I know y'all can't really tell. Yeah, you can see it there. See, that's dry. See how white that looks compared to down there? It's already starting to dry on the outside. Helen, this was a jar from, I got it from Sam's. It was uh, pineapple spears that came in here and they're in like coconut water and they're so good. But the jar is really cool and square and I did not want to get rid of the jar. So it's been sitting over here in my stash waiting to be turned into something. And here it is. And so this is gonna be the lid. This is gonna be his top, it's gonna go on. And I'm gonna put, you know, I'll put like little fairy lights or I'll put one of these in there. And y'all, he's gonna look so stinking cute. I don't even know this came out of something or somewhere or something, Dollar Tree, who knows. He's already got a st awesome stem, Barbara. <laughs> Y'all, this stuff is so much fun. Um, but see, hey Barb, but you can turn it around and use this side for fall. And if you wanted to put a cute little tag and put hello fall, or even if you can write pretty like I cannot, put that on there, it'd be so stinking cute. But I'm going to show y'all something else. Linda, I have it. Um, only because, like, if you had this kind of plastic that doesn't, like, crinkle, but it still will move, you know, then the clay would probably pop and break off. Um, Tracy, I'll paint it when it gets, um, hey, Annette. She said, hey. Um, I'll paint it when it dries. And so, uh, Monday night, that's probably what I'm going to be doing is painting my pumpkin. So, y'all can watch me paint. And if y'all make one, then you'll have one to paint by then. Um, if you get you some clay, or if you already have clay, and you can make one. And I'm just going to paint him up pretty. Um, so I'm going to show y'all something really quick. If you don't want to jump off into this kind of a big of a project, you can do it small. Um, I'm going to show y'all something really cute. Um, and I've got some over here. His stem. Y'all quit y'all talking about his stem. Okay, <laughs> um, Okay. so we're going to make a mushroom, y'all. And here's what my, these were in my box. I think I showed y'all these before. And they were in my box already done. They're already dried. Um, and here's another one. And you can stick them in your, like, I put a wire in them. So you can stick these, like, in your potted plants or your fake plants, for that matter. And um, they look super cute. And they're so easy to dry. Hey, Annette, you're so sweet. Okay, so you're just going to make like a snake. <laughs> and you're going to make a stem. Don't y'all start. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, Benny. Are y'all laughing at me again? Don't y'all start. Another shape. <laughs> y'all are going to be tickled when y'all try to do it. And you're going to be laughing at yourself. Uh, Y'all gonna be laughing at the mushrooms? Stop it. They're gonna be mushrooms. Y'all quit it. <laughs> the mushrooms are making you laugh. Maybe mushrooms wasn't the perfect thing to pick after uh, that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put the clay on the table. Karen is Karen that started it all. Karen's like, I'm dead. <laughs> We're calling it a second. <laughs> I'm going to crawl under the table now. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm a glutton. <laughs> Carol's like, oh God. I promise I did not plan that. <laughs> okay. I'm making my mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> okay. Making a mushroom, y'all. Dee's going to get clay tomorrow. Thank you, Dee. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's my <laughs> here's 
my mushroom top. And here's the little stem, okay? So it's gonna be like this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and we're gonna take some wire. <laughs> and you can definitely take, um, look, this, this, this pack of wire is old. I've had it forever. Um, hey, Vicki, a toadstool. Thank you, Jane, a toadstool. And I'm going to just, Probably double it up a couple of times. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> oh, Wendy. Uh, yeah, you did. Cause I, I, okay. Let's recap for the people who are wondering why everybody's laughing. They're laughing at the stem. Okay. And then I started making mushrooms and they're even laughing at me even more. Um, so yes. Cindy is just getting better and better. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you're going to double up your wire a good couple of times. Um, Jen is going to have to go get her some clay soon, she said. All right. I may undo that and just do it twice. Hang on. Where's the other end? There it is. And just double it up once. <laughs> Tammy... He thinks you've lost it because you're over here uh, dying out laughing. You'll never look at a mushroom. Y'all stop. Okay. So I'm just going to cut my wire. Trying to keep it keep it on track. I did say you can make anything with the clay, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> okay. So you're going to make your mushroom flat. I mean your stem flat. And you're going to put the wire <laughs> through the stem. Like this. <laughs> and then you're just gonna poke it up through the top of the mushroom like this. And you're going to let this dry. So you have a toad stool. Carol! BentCarrot.com. <laughs> that commercial gets me every time. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Linda! <laughs> okay, so you're going to let this dry like this, okay? The best that you can. So I'm just going to like set it over there. It's going to kind of dry overnight. Yes, Bev, I do remember those ghosts, and that was hilarious. I about had a heart attack. <laughs> I was like, oh, my stars. Oh, my word. Yes, you gotta watch the replay. When I start making the stem, that's when it's kind of kind of goes off the rails. To cause, cause Karen Ellis, I'm calling Karen out. Karen Ellis made it go off the rails. That was the first comment I saw, and I was like, oh. Okay, but it started off with this cute little adorable pumpkin, and he's square and he's adorable. But there he is. I'm not gonna say nothing else about it. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab a plate. Cause I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna be nice, and I'm gonna paint my little um, <laughs> Geneva's like. I'm gonna get some clay tomorrow, and I'm hoping I'm gonna have just as much fun. <laughs> oh my word, y'all are hilarious. Okay, so I was gonna paint them bright colors, cause I, I honestly I have red out here. I have blue and. I have orange. And then I said, no, I'm going to go, we're going to go full out and do metallic mushrooms. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad y'all needed this. Oh my goodness. I did too. I've had a, not stressful, but just, y'all see that I shook that stuff and it just went, it flew out and went everywhere. Didn't get on my shirt though, so that's good. I don't think it did. I just blend it into my sunflower. This is my new beware one too, by the way. I think y'all seen it, but I like it. All right. <laughs> toadstools, yes, they're toadstools. Now, when these dried, my stem wasn't, wasn't attached to the toadstool top, so I had to use some hot glue and I glued it together, so it was one piece. <laughs> Uh, Brenda, you can use a wooden skewer. 
I just think about if you're going to stick this in soil, like in your plants, in your house, then, um, look how pretty, <laughs> then the wire would probably hold up better than the wood. Depends on what you're going to do with them. So, I'm going to paint this one this pretty copper. This is copper, Craftsmart copper. Because I'm thinking like browns and just the fallish colors from my little toad stools. <laughs> hey, Melinda. <laughs> Thank goodness we, for the replay. Y'all are so funny. Y'all are killing me. Okay, Yvonne. Now Yvonne from Southern Designs and Finds is, is X-rated. Okay. It's a mushroom. It's toadstool. They're giving me a hard time, Yvonne. We made the stem on my, pump, my clay pumpkin, and that's what started it. No, Donna, I do not want to use pink. I do not. I can't wait till y'all try to make these. Y'all are going to be laughing to yourself. Being like, oh my gosh, she, I know she had a hard time. She had such a hard time doing this. And we were all just cackling and thinking it was so funny. But look how pretty that mushroom toadstool is. <laughs> it's a fun guy. Look how cute. So cute. See how pretty? You needed it today. You had a stressful day at work. Well, I'm so glad that you can, I can bring some laughter and joy into your life. <laughs> um, so now, for the stem part, I'm going to paint it gold. Don't be painting that pumpkin pink. Okay, I won't. <laughs> The mushroom reminds you of, um, I guess, like Mario Brothers, where they have the little, um, the mushrooms that come, that are in the whole game. Yes, I love Mario. So, I'm just painting the stem part gold. Hush, Willie Mae. Uh, yes, I was wondering when somebody was going to catch that comment, too, because somebody typed in like a fungus. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> what do y'all call it? Y'all are y'all are cracking me up. I'm telling you, this is so funny. I can't even. Poor Spookly here. He just don't even know what's going on. I should have made him with have a confused look on his face because he don't know what have y'all have done to him. Okay, so look, I painted it gold. Making pumpkins will never be the same. Yes. You want a red one with white dots. Well, that's what I had in mind. And then I got into thinking, well, what about, what if I do, um, what if I do like fallish looking brown and, you know, the fall colors. <laughs> hey, Janet, it's okay. You've missed some crazy stuff. Look at Vicky putting her little white mushroom, little red mushrooms up there. All right, so I'm just taking this little dowel, and I'm going to make dots, and I don't care if they're perfect or not, because they don't need to be round and perfect, but I'm making little dots. Happy dots on my mushroom. He's so pretty. My, my little plants in my house are going to be all dooted up for fall. Look. So cute. And you can make little bitty pumpkins if you want to. Without a jar, you can just make the shape of a pumpkin. If I do that and y'all are going to laugh. <laughs> Jane Burt's putting her mushroom up there. And I didn't get anything to stick this in because it's got to dry. So it's got to sit kind of upright for it to dry. <laughs> And look, look at his little gold dots. Isn't that all cute in your little plants? <laughs> Susan's like, I'm buying stock in the Doss paint because I feel like the sales are going to skyrocket. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all, we've had a good time. 
Jody, they come in all sizes. Um, Angie, no, you don't have to seal it. Because when I paint it, it pretty much seals it. But you're not going to want to put this outside. It's just going to be for inside. You can seal it if you want to. You could use clear spray paint or you could do Mod Podge or whatever. But look how cute they are. You can make these for your tiered trays. You don't have to put the um, <laughs> upright is best. <laughs> you don't have to put the wire in there. Okay. All right. So I didn't have to stand it upright. I'm just going to like set it to the side because it's dry. And do another color. And I didn't get a jar of water because <laughs> hilarious craft night. <laughs> yes, I'm going to paint that pumpkin Monday after I get over everything y'all have done <laughs> I'm, all, I'm gonna get I'm gonna um paint it Monday Woody's all good and dry and y'all have pro probably made some by then and um yeah <laughs> I made your day I'm so glad all right I'm gonna paint this one red and white because y'all asked me to so I'm gonna paint the stem even though it's white I'm still gonna paint Paint it white because it's already white, but it just makes it look a little bit more pristine white. And I'm going to paint the underside white because you know how they're underneath there, they're white. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the underside of my mushroom. All right, there's my white. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Now you're not going to miss another one, Barb. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Sometimes things just kind of go, um, yeah, nothing better than a girl's night. Um, sometimes things just kind of get crazy. Y'all can thank Karen for that. <laughs> thank you, Karen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, get my red. And paint the top red. Valerie, it's okay. You probably spared yourself some side-splitting laughter. <laughs> These ladies on here have had a hoot of a time. Talking about my stem and my little toadstools. <laughs> Please notify when it's clay time. Uh, Beverly, you are not going to forget about that. I'm pretty sure y'all are not going to forget about the stem by Monday. <laughs> Pam, you need to watch it. Especially when I start making the stem thing. That's when it's going to, yeah. That's when it kind of went off the rails. We fell off the wagon at that point. The wagon wheels all went four directions. And the wagon came to a complete halt at one point. <laughs> The wagon's not going anymore. <laughs> Although I'm trying to pull the wagon. <laughs> all these ladies aren't helping me. They're laying in the street laughing because the wagon lost all the wheels and I'm pulling it and I'm still going and they're laying in the road laughing. <laughs> Every Thursday should be a clay experience. <laughs> I love working with my clay now. It's so It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, where's Stafford at? I can't believe Mandy and Stafford are on here. They missed they missed out on the best part. Okay, so there is my little red um toadstool. You don't think the newbies will come again? <laughs> it went sideways. Yeah, Lori, I, I should, but I don't have any right here by me. But, yeah, I would normally do that. Put some, um, put them in some styrofoam. Here we go. Raise this down. Oh, this one's already dry. So, these are some that I had done in the past. 
and I made that one over there, and it's got to dry before I paint it, but these are some that's been dry for a very long time in my little box of clay stuff. It was, they were in there, and I said, oh, I'm going to do these mushrooms too. Little did I know that it was just going to go, <laughs> it was going to turn into its own deal. <laughs> What color red is this? It is Cherry Red by Deco Art. Yes, it makes you laugh. Okay, so there is my red with little white dots. Isn't it adorable? Oh my gosh. Y'all are hilarious. I hope the video doesn't get taken down. Red Rocket, oh my lord. I quit talking about my... <laughs> it's called Cherry Red. That's the name of the color. I'm drying them because i got to set it somewhere to dry. <sighs> Yvonne, are you still hanging out with me? <laughs> and these crazy women. <sighs> Lori, Amazon. It's in my Amazon shop. It's just like an $11 little... It's, it's been going a long time because I got another one because I thought this one was making noise like it was going to kick the bucket and it's still going. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better, Sandy said. Okay, so there is my little toadstool. Oh, my word. I got to figure out. I'm going to set him over here on this little thing to dry. There we go. I'm taking him out of the way for y'all. Say something what I just did about it. Okay. Now this one, my paintbrushes, I got to wrap them in the, um, um, my baby wipe because I didn't get a jar of water because I didn't think I was going to need it. You feel sad for the stem. Beverly, why do you feel sad for it? It's a stem. Look. Y'all want him to be stemless? Not have a pumpkin with no stem? Mm. Here y'all go again. I said the wrong thing. Okay. So this one, I'm just painting it white. Get another paintbrush. I'm really not trying to, um, it looks good and real now, Dana. Y'all just trying to start something. I want to be starting something. Got to be starting something. Y'all like Michael Jackson. You're trying to start something. So this one's my light turquoise blue. I don't have any plants out here. They died. So, Debbie... <laughs> That commercial comes on all the time. And I'm like, oh my word. My water, oh yeah, my water tumbler. But I think, oh yeah, I do have something to put it in. The water. Don't take the stem away. I'm gonna take, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna punish y'all and take the stem away. I think I'm gonna paint under here with this one. Y'all, these little things look really cute in your plants. They're so cute. If you're like me, I just love little stuff like that. Beverly, it was me. Oh, I put it in the white. But this clay is really easy to paint. Paint's really nice. And we're going to paint spookily up Monday. Stem and all. So y'all y'all better wear your depends and be ready for it. Because we're going to make him look like a pumpkin. Look how cute. Alright, where's my... Did I put it back in here? I guess I did. I'm going to put some dots. Uh-oh. Put some dots on my toadstool. Will I be making bigger toadstools? No. <laughs> Not live. 
Now, and y'all want me to do that little house with that other jar? Oh, my word. And they have a chimney? Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to make it. The whole wagon will fall apart. Okay, so there's my little, my little turquoise. <laughs> y'all, y'all gonna get the video taken down. Bigger pumpkins. Right, Tammy? Just hope Facebook don't be like, uh, we're gonna take that video down. Of course, there's probably worse that goes on. See? You see, it's got the wire. See the wire? And that'll just stick down to your plant. <laughs> yes, we could all use a laugh. Bigger tote stools for Dunning Private. I like the aqua too. Wait till you get your own clay and y'all are making y'all stuff. This one's your favorite, Marcedia. <laughs> Trying to dry the dots. Okay. But look how stinking cute they are. Look. Here's that one. Look. So cute. He had to get you some clay now just so you can make your uh, some stems. I'm laughing at my stem for I'm just gonna cut it off make it smaller <laughs> make it shorter look I like this y'all know I'm ready to break out the the fall metallic colors goodness so pretty 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 <laughs> is Brenda yes it is air dry clay hold on I'll show it to you it's um yeah, everybody's going to be posting them in the group, Dana, and it's going to be hilarious. Um, it's this kind of clay. It's air dry, and um, I like this brand because I know it doesn't crack. I use it for lots of things, um, lots of crafts I do. You can get it Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and always put it in a Ziploc bag, y'all, because it will dry out just like this will. I mean, it'll... Um, it'll just dry out. And that, it is DAS, D-A-S. And it's white. It's, you know, it starts off this white color. And it gets whiter when it dries. Um, let me set that down where it don't. There we go. And it dry, air dries. It'll take a day or so for it to dry, depending on how thick your clay is. Like, like this mushroom is going to take a good day or so to dry. Like, probably tonight and tomorrow. And then by, you know, Saturday, it would probably be, um, call him Stumpy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I will. I'll, I always usually post, but it's Monday night at 7.30 and Thursday nights at 7.30. Um, unless I make a post and say something's going on, I can't, but that's when I'm on. I have made ornaments with it in the past. I actually have some blank ones in the drawer. I mean, I'm in that box that, my clay that I got my clay in. Um, Tammy, you can, as long as it's not real... Um, uh, detailed, you can. So, yeah, I'll come on Monday nights at 7.30 and then Thursday nights at 7.30. Central time. Adonna, his face will change if I cut the stem off. So, there's the stem for all of those wanting to know about the stem. I'm going to fix it, but I'm not going to fix it with y'all. <laughs> oh! Yes, yeah, Cheryl, we had lots of laughs. Uh, Rose, I made it. It was a jar of pineapple, clear jar, and I put that clay on the whole entire jar and drew the lines, and I cut the face out because we're going to paint him next week, and then I'll end up putting lights in him, and he will light up like a jack-o'-lantern. So, see? He's going to look all cute and lit up. Brush a little cornstarch in the mold. Yes, I would do that, definitely. Somebody said that. I'm just going to leave my lid. But I'm going to... I didn't press my lines again. I got to... I done smushed my, my detail. That one. See, it's starting to already dry on the outside. I want to find... I need to try to find my... It might be up in a bin up here somewhere. My other jar of pumpkins that I did a couple of years ago. I don't know what the difference is in the paper clay. Because uh, I've not used the paper clay. But 
I really love this clay. This is what I, I won't use anything, any another brand or anything because I know this doesn't crack. Thank you, Marcedia. Thank you for being here. He is going to be adorable. He is. My little pumpkin. And you could turn a little jar that you were going to throw away with some clay into something that you can put out every fall or Halloween because you can use this side for fall. Turn him facing the wall or whatever and have a tag or you can put some lettering on here of some type, like Hello Fall, and then um, you can turn this side around for Halloween if you do Halloween. I just like the fun stuff. I don't like all the uh, stuff, the spooky stuff. But we've made ghosts with the clay. Um, there's another kind of ghost that I saw that I want to make actually with the clay. So we might have to do that too. Right, Donna? We all have jars saved. I saved, like I saved this jar. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, but it was a square, cool jar, and I was like, I'm going to put that in my craft room because I'll save it for something. I just, I, I can't stand throwing them away um, knowing that I could turn it into this. That's why I don't like to throw jars away. Um, thank you, Barb. But these mushrooms are stinking adorable. I'm telling you, oh. Um, how much clay did it take for the pumpkin? Probably, I would say half a block at least. If not, I don't know. Because I, I started off with a block I had left. And then I used, I just used a little bit of this one. So, let's see. I used that much of this one. So, it was, you know, that chunk. And then, so... Maybe half a half of a thing, but this jar, I mean, this jar is pretty big if y'all can see my hands. I mean, you use something smaller, a smaller jar like something like this, then definitely you're not going to have to use as much. Um, <laughs> Vicky, it has been the best night. It's so funny. Um, yeah, so if y'all missed the part about the stem, y'all are going to have to go back and uh, see that part, but I got it turned now where you can't see it, but see how you had to set that jar on the lid on a certain way It has been the best night. It's so funny <laughs> I can't wait to paint it. It's gonna be everything I can do not to paint it before Monday because when he dries um, But y'all definitely give this a try. I know y'all got jars on your craft room shelves like I do Because I don't like to throw stuff away or cool jars and stuff like I have this one I'm itching to do something with it. This is one of those uh, Mart Martinelli's 100% apple juice. And it has like a little, it's a little top. But do y'all see the leaves on it? I cannot wait to do something with this. Um, because I see a sunflower. Or this could be a pumpkin in itself. And put, you know, whatever you, you know, it'd be so cute. So, you could do jars like, little jars like this. And you could still put the little fairy lights in here. These kind of lights. In there. And they would, that's what I, <clears throat> that's what I put in my little ones was the fairy lights. And run them down in there. Look how cute. It'd be so cute. I can't stand it. I want to cover all the jars. And like, I have this. These are at Dollar Tree. Cover that with clay. You could find something to put on the top this flat or whatever and um you could do this if you don't have any jars so there's all kinds of things you can use um thanks debbie thanks for being here but um yeah y'all get you some clay and have you some fun i'm telling you um that little jar makes me see an apple yeah well it's apple juice is what it was because you know so that's what it's supposed to be i guess but these little jars are so cute Tammy's got to get some clay, right? Um, hey, Shelly. Or turn it upside down. Yes. Like that? I don't know what she's talking I don't know where I'm. Flip it upside down. You can build a lid with the clay. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, you could turn it upside down. Hello. Yes, and do your face and put lights up in here. And you could put your stem on top and do just what I did here. And these are those little bowls they have at Dollar Tree. So, you can just get creative and, I mean, do whatever. 
Like this jar would be perfect, but I didn't really know what to do with this part when I made it to the stem. So I think I'm gonna save this one and make this a chimney and make a house and a little door and have windows and have lights inside. I think it would be so cool. Maybe you could make us a witch on a broomstick. <laughs> thank you, Lyra. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all and thank y'all for hanging out and thank you for all the laughs. Thank you, Karen Ellis, for running us off in the ditch because the ditch was fun. <laughs> we went off in, off the rails tonight. Um, sometimes it just happens that way and you just, you know, things that can't be planned. That's just real life. <laughs> You see a potion jar? Yes, it has a top. So it has that, it has the stopper, because it was a decanter. That's what that one was, was a decanter also. But this right here, and I can't get this off again. This plastic thing, that looks like a pumpkin to me. This looks like a potion jar too, it's the top. Um, all right, so guys, I'm gonna get off and clean up this mess and um, it was fun, wasn't it? Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. And until I see y'all again, y'all be safe and have a good night. And I got to get all this off the table and my hands. Um, and I'll see y'all Monday night. And we are going to paint this guy, even though he looks good and white, doesn't he? <laughs> I'll see y'all um, Monday night. Jody, it's a jar and I covered it with clay. Covered it with air dry clay. So I will see y'all and y'all can watch the replay and laugh all over again. Bye guys. Have a great time this weekend. See you later.